if you're new, I'm Mina and welcome to my channel. I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe and turn on notifications. I post every single Saturday and that really helps to support me and let's get straight into this video. So before we get into the dorm tour, I wanted to give all of you guys a huge, huge thank you for hitting 1,000 subscribers. That means the absolute world to me. And to be honest, when I started my YouTube journey about nine months ago, I never would have believed that I would have been able to find any sort of community here on YouTube. But every single one of you guys are always so supportive, leaving comments on my videos and just watching my content. And I appreciate that so much. So I'm so, so thankful for all of you and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying my videos and I can't wait to make more for you guys in the future. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Something to know is I believe that with all the residential colleges, the doors to your room lock automatically, so you need to take your key basically everywhere. I've already heard so many stories of people getting locked out, and so if you're curious, I would recommend investing in some sort of wallet like this that has a hook on it, and that way you can carry around your key and you won't forget it. So right when you walk in, this is what the entrance kind of looks like, and then right behind me is the door that we just came through. So I did want to mention that if you're not familiar with the Rice University House, Housing system. Basically, there are 11 what are called residential colleges, and each student gets randomly assigned to one their freshman year, and they stay with it basically their entirety of their four years at school. And so Duncan is the youngest residential college. I think it was built in 2009, and so it's pretty new. The facilities are really nice, and we do have we are one of the few residential colleges that have private bathrooms. And so that's really nice. But if you're curious, I do know that McMurtry, which is like our twin college, has the exact same layout as Duncan it's just flipped so they also have private bathrooms but then I know for especially the older residential colleges they have communal bathrooms so when you walk in towards your right there's the private bathroom which only me and my roommate have to share here on the right is a shower and it's kind of placed like weirdly because the shower curtain as you can see kind of loops around there and there's like a fence thingy you know so that the water doesn't go out it's weird because the toilet is right there which means that you know, sometimes the water is like there, but you know, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of weird. But I did look at some other Duncan rooms and this edging here does go past the toilet. So that's normal. So I don't know, some of the bathrooms have like it on this side and then some have it on this side. But basically my roommate and I, we just got this like shower caddy thing to put our stuff on. And the shower head is actually really high and both my roommate and I are 5'2". So we decided to just like stick it on here instead of on the shower head. So we have a bunch of products on there. Then we also got this bathroom like shelf thingy, which we just have like a bunch of random stuff in just for more storage. And we got that from Target. Then as you can see, there's like a little shelf right there above the toilet. And then there's like a hook that we ended up command hooking there. There's a bunch of these like rods everywhere. So there's one right there and one right here. Then we just have a bunch of our products lining the shelf here. And I know that the shelf looks really small. So what my roommate did was she got one of these like vanity organizer thingies and then we that was able to save us a lot of space here is the sink it's decently sized i guess and then on the back of the door there's a hook where i put my towels and then my roommate just has her laundry basket down there and then we also ended up buying these bathroom mats to put as well so something to note is that with these private bathrooms they do provide toilet paper as well as paper towels as well as like the cleaning supplies right down there. So that's really nice, but obviously you need to clean the bathroom yourself. They do come and clean it once every month or something like that, but my roommate and I clean it every week. So after the bathroom, what you get to is right here, which is the closet. So the closets are actually really, really spacious. And so this is my roommate's side and this is my side. So at the top there, you can see I just like put my luggage bags and stuff and my laundry stuff and then at the bottom I have all of my shoes down there so it's actually really quite spacious and we ended up buying this standing mirror as well we didn't hang it on the wall yet I don't know if we should or not we're still like debating using command hooks to like place it on the wall but right now it's just propped up on the floor then we also have this like shelving system right here which has a lot of shelves I personally didn't bring that much clothes, so I didn't have to use it. So this is all of my roommate's stuff, but the shelving system is really nice and the closet's like actually quite big. 
So then when you come over here, this is what the entire room looks like. So that's all my roommate side. And then this side is my side. And it's actually really, really big, which is super nice. So basically, here's just my bed. And if you watched my college pack with me video, you would have seen all of these posters. So I finally hung them all up. And I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. And I think it looks really cute up there. And then I also printed out this canvas. And it was one of the digital artworks that I made. And so I printed it on canvas and posted it right there above my bed. Then coming here, this is like the desk area. So there are three different drawers here where I just have like a bunch of clothes in. And so they're like pretty decently spaced drawers and I actually don't have enough clothes to even fill it up. And so that's pretty nice. Then on this side, there's also this other dresser thing, which also has three drawers. And it's a little bit smaller, but I just have a bunch of random stuff in here as well. So what a lot of people like doing is they like moving either this or this bigger one here right next to their bed into that space right there to use as like a bedside storage area. But I ended up just buying one of these from Target, which is like a three drawer portable wheelie storage system. And I've just been using that as like a bedside storage area. I connected my extension cord to the wall right here using command hooks and that's been really nice just because I don't like cables being everywhere and it's kind of frustrating because the only outlets that are around the desk area are these two right here so I had to hook up my extension cord so I could get a little bit more outlets but then other than that there's like basically no outlets around in this area which is a little bit frustrating but that's okay. Then I just have another storage box with like a bunch of like papers and stuff and I just st store like my yoga mat and then like I usually put my tripod over there and then my laundry basket right there. And then I just have like all of my teas and stuff right here. I love my teas. I have some like Japanese candies in here, which are so good, by the way, if you've never had one of these. And I do have my bed lofted. So this is actually just how it came when I moved in. And I didn't want to lower it, but I've been too lazy to put in the work order. So my bed is actually like on the highest rung possible right here, which has been kind of nice because I've been able to like just store a bunch of random things underneath my bed. But then as you can see from my roommate's bed, it's a lot lot shorter so hers is about halfway up on the rungs and so that's been a little bit nicer so if you're curious you can loft and deloft the bed if you want to you just need to put in a work order for it we do have a bunch of fairy lights as you can see kind of lining the room right there so we ended up getting a 66 foot string of fairy lights if you're curious and it is long enough to reach all the way across the perimeter of the room as well as going down there to an outlet that's behind my bed so if you are <laughs> going to a duncan room or a mcmurtry room which is a very similar dorm room and you want to know how long it is we got a 66 foot long string of fairy lights and something that i really love about these duncan doubles is this huge wall of windows so in total we have five windows that overlook the surrounding area and it, we just see a bunch of trees and so i think that's pretty nice to look at the only downside is that it does get pretty bright in the morning if you guys are like sensitive to light or something like that the blinds aren't really enough to shut it out i personally don't really mind it and so i think it's really nice because it makes the room very bright thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it i I'd really appreciate it if you can leave a thumbs up as well as a comment down in the comment section below and see you guys in my next video thanks again for watching bye